Welcome to our J Crazy News Headlines and a special Wednesday to those watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. How many of you remembered the massacre which took place last year, September 18, which claimed the life of Sasha Gay Banks, her uncle and her man, and Jamaica Boilers Comedy Center and also football field on that Sunday, that horrible Sunday while persons were watching football match. Nine persons were shot and in that nine, three persons lost their life. Now based on information, they said that that killing took place because of a missing gun. Can you imagine? You shoot nine persons, kill three, all because of a missing gun. Now that killing or that shooting or the attack on persons at that football match was a contract hit carried out by a couple criminal elements. Now, while the criminal elements got arrested and was a top tier member of the one other gang out of Spain Town, but the main mastermind behind the shooting was not captured. And that main mastermind and main trigger man went on enough you know, to carry out more murders across St. Catherine, not to mention Old Harbour. This main trigger man operated out of Burke Road in Old Harbour, St. Catherine. If you all remember, a couple months ago, they killed a man in Burke Road. Claim say he is a goat thief, which it wasn't so. That man was killed because they claim to say he is an informer. But the criminal element and other members of that criminal organization killed the man and told people that he is thief goat. When them father accused him of being an informer, the criminal himself, Daniel Ferguson, aka Fry Eye. Now, this morning, he was shot and killed by police in a shootout in Old Harbor. He was pronounced dead after the smoke was clear, my viewers and my subscribers. This criminal element have been plaguing havoc, mayhem, across the entire Old Harbor, St. Catherine. Now that you know, he's also a contract killer. Anybody work there, he can go all boat and take people three points. A lot of murders that have been carried out in Old Harbor, this youth was a trigger man behind it. And as I said before, he was also the main trigger man behind the Spring Village football match massacre which happened last year september 18 2022 now you always have one classmate always coming out in defense of these criminal elements one bag of lies most wanted them see the youth every day me not seen pan most wanted wednesdays me prove say police really wicked i know you know a woman or women always comment these things because they are the enablers of these criminal elements. They're the ones who take money from these criminal elements, sleep with them, breed for them, wash them bloody clothes, and hide them gun. Then come on social media and talk all bag of foolishness. Not because a youth wasn't displayed on most wanted Wednesday means uh, he is not wanted. Now, Fry had some of these all our officers, police officers, JCF, in his pockets because they take money from him and in bars overseas who them call Jesus. If you know enough in the criminal world, when a criminal element has the police in them pocket, the police cannot do or move as they want to to protect law-abiding citizens of a parish because they have to see and blind here and deaf because 
they are now being controlled by the criminals. Some of these hungry belly police officers rather sabotage their morals, their police code of conduct to facilitate extra money from these criminal organizations. So therefore, these criminal elements can kill who they want to kill, carry out hits, and the police kill nothing because they have dirt on the police. The police are now tamed, corrupt. Thank God for police officers who have morals and a code of conduct who say no we don't take no bribe from no criminal we are slap them away we are clap them away because they are menace to a parish they are menace to jamaica the reason why you know so many criminal elements go on the run for so long and they survive for so long is because they have politicians mps policemen in their pockets so they can do as them please because the officers are in agreement with them this is why these criminal elements can last for many years then eventually get clapped with in a shootout with police because they have been paying corrupt cops on the quiet but now old harbor can breed a side of relief now we head towards manchester and also the parish of St. Elizabeth. The reason why I said Manchester and St. Elizabeth is because Montpelier is actually in Manchester, but it's close to the parish of St. Elizabeth. That is why you see the headlines say St. Elizabeth. Now, Montpelier is just after you come off Spurtree Hill, you head towards Gotha Square, you make a left turn at the roundabout heading towards junction st bess and right to junction alpa near you name it and the first community that you pass on your left after you shortly pass gotha square that is montpelier they have a housing scheme bushy areas you name it now yesterday the police engaged men in a shootout at approximately five gunmen now those five gunmen use social media to carry out seals in illegal firearms these dunks criminal organizations would use social media facebook instagram tiktok twitter you name it to sell firearms these dunks these fools don't know so that the police patrol social media daily. Not to mention CTAC, my favorite police branch apart from the anti gang task force. So, what CTAC did was pretend to be buyers, persons who would purchase illegal firearms. And they named a place to meet, and Montpelier was the ideal place. But these criminals never know say they will come in tack with undercover officers who are CTAC agents, pretend to be buyers. So CTAC went in on, and during this operation, this sting operation, the gunmen tried to rob the CTAC members. But a shootout took place. Now, based on information, it's alleged that one of the men was shot and killed and a firearm recovered. But I knew say that the man was shot and injured. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, I see this daily on social media where criminal organizations even use Telegram to sell firearms. Yes, indeed. They use Facebook. They use Instagram. They use Telegram and other social media platforms to sell illegal firearms. And they are so beer fierce, they are so brawling with it. And they just don't care. But remember, the law watches every move of 
every individual on social media not just officers in Jamaica officers in other country so if you think say no you can do as you please on social media you make a sad mistake this is Jay Crazy News again to them have a blessed and safe Wednesday yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movement for free. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movement for free. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy